guy wants uh, to experience, but a lot of that goes to the credit of those Converse University Valkyries for really just staying in there, hammering home, and taking advantage of any little mistake that the Patriots made, and so they really made it an exciting ball game. Good for them, but the Patriots did come away with a victory, and let's see if the men can do the same thing coming up here in just a few minutes. The Patriots this year, they are 7-11 and 11 in Conference Carolina, so they need a couple of victories here coming down the stretch to get themselves into playoff contention. If they do, they'll probably be taking on somebody of the nature of UNC Pembroke, who actually came into our house just a week and a half ago, and the Patriots had them dead to rights the entire game, and it just slipped away from them at the very end. But the Patriots showed that they could compete with uh, the highest level of competition in Conference Carolinas. UNC Pembroke, uh, obviously our rival from just up the road on I-95, 70 miles or so. We know them quite well, and they are really dominating basketball right now in Conference Carolina there. Conference record is 17 and 1, 20 and 1 overall. Patriots are 9 and 11 overall, and their competition today is 4 and 13 in Conference Carolinas and 5 and 16 overall. So the Valkyries of Converse University are just one tick under the standings in the Patriots. Well, we've got some home court advantage going on this afternoon, and we got a big, huge emotional lift in a win just last night when Alex Cox, right to my right-hand side from the announcing or the media table, he drained a last-second three-pointer to break a tie that was at, locked up at 92-92 against North Greenville. And so that was a big victory for the Patriots and a big shot by Alex Cox, who had been out under some protocol issues the last couple of weeks, and he's been kind of getting himself back into shape and had a really good game last night. The Patriots still do have some work to do to solidify themselves in Conference Carolina, but they've got the talent to do it. They just need to finish off some of the opponents when they get them on the mat. A couple of announcements before we get started this afternoon, or the, I guess it still is afternoon. Uh, the Francis Marion men's and women's basketball teams will also host Barton College on Wednesday with the women's game tipping off at 5.30 right here in the Smith Center, followed by the men's game somewhere around 7.30 or so. Also, the Francis Marion's men's and women's tennis teams will host Lenore Ryan University on Sunday at 2 p.m. on the Kassab courts. Congratulations to FMU sophomore tennis player Liam Day, who was named this week's Conference Carolina's Men's Tennis Player of the Week. The unbeaten FMU baseball team will play host to USC Aiken, their first real test on Tuesday at 4 p.m. at Cormel Field at Sparrow Stadium in the Griffin Athletic Complex. Come watch those guys play. They're really fun. And if you've never been out to the Griffin Athletic Complex, I really highly recommend that you do. The snack bar is fantastic. The facility is just top shelf. And you'll really enjoy the experience. Plus, when they've got a good product on the field, it makes it even better. So come on out on Tuesday at 4 p.m. and watch some FMU baseball. And don't, worry, don't forget about watching some FMU basketball on Wednesday right here in the Smith Center starting at 5.30. Now let's take a look at our starting lineups. First of all, let's check out those Converse University Valkyries coming in once again with a record of 4-13 and 13 in Conference Carolina. They've got a 215-pound 6'5 freshman guard from Gainesville, Georgia. Number two, Eli Pitts. They also have 145-pound, 5'6", junior point guard from Dallas, Texas, number three, Jimmy Sanders III. At 6'2", 185 pounds, a freshman guard from Clemens, North Carolina, number four, Jay Mitchell. 
At forward, a 6'7", 220-pound freshman from Spartanburg, South Carolina, number 21, Earl Burgess III. And rounding out the starting five for Converse University, you've got a 6'5", 205-pound junior guard from Irmo, South Carolina, number 22, Jordan Warlick. The head coach of the Valkyries is head coach Ryan Sanders. His assistant coach is Austin Green, and the graduate assistant coach is Nate Williams. Their athletic trainer is Anna Myers. And as usual, the Patriots have a nice high-intensity intro up on the big screens. Now let's take a look at that FMU starting lineup. They come in with that Conference Carolina's record of 7-11, and 11, trying to get closer to that 500 mark. We're going to have starting at guard a 6'2", 190-pound junior from Tallahassee, Florida, who's been playing lights out lately, number one, Tion Rollins. We also have a 6'1", 180-pound freshman guard from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, number four, Jose Benitez. And when those two just kind of got solidified in the backcourt along with our next player, a 6'3", 173-pound senior guard from Concord, North Carolina, Alex Cox, when Tion, Jose, and Alex really got solidified in that backcourt, the Patriots really became dangerous. In the middle, we've got a 6'8", 210-pound freshman center from Sanford, Florida, number 15, Jonah Pierce, and rounding out the starting five for our Patriots, we've got a 6'7", 215-pound freshman forward from San Paulo, Brazil, number 34, Nick Silva. The head coach for the Patriots is head coach Gary Edwards. The assistant coaches are Jacob Zedner and Brandon Funk. Their athletic trainer is Trevor Hess, and the manager is Dominic Orico. We've got Pierce in the middle going up against Eli Pitts, and here we go. Pierce gets it back to Rollins. Uh, Benitez and the Patriots start with possession. Alex Cox, wide open right wing, buries it. Shotzi, he knocks down the three. And he started this game just like he ended the game last night on a right wing deep three-pointer. Man-to-man -man defense applied by the Patriots. Nice drive that time by number three, but Sanders couldn't quite get it to go down. Benitez. A little bit too much razzle-dazzle as Benitez went driving down the right lane. Good closing defense by the Valkyries. Patriots have extended that man-to-man -man defense tight. Warlick has it. He works on Silva. They switch. He goes in against Pierce, and Jonah comes up with the steal. The ball is going to stay down with the Valkyrie as they were fighting for the rebound. Ball slips out of bounds, and the judgment was last off one of the Patriots. There was no change of possession, so still only 11 on the shot clock. They kick it outside to... Burgess couldn't get it to go down right there on the right block, about seven feet away. Two-three zone applied by the Valkyrie. Let's see how the Patriots attack this. Silva, left baseline. He drives in, kicks it back outside. And Rollins for three, back iron, no good. Pierce tried to keep it alive, but corralled in there by number 21, Earl Burgess. Pitts gets it over to Warlick. In and out three, no good. And Pierce with the strong defensive rebound. And again, some little bit too fancy passing by the Patriots. This one by Silva. And another turnover. Goes the way of the Valkyrie. As I mentioned, number one, Tian Rollins has been a scoring machine as of late. He's been lethal from beyond the arc. Yeah. 
Nice pump fake by Sanders. Got Benitez off the ground, but pulls it back out. Inside, left-handed shot, no good by Burgess. Silva tweaked his ankle, it looks like, or knee. Rollins, three, right side, shots it, he knocks it down. So the Patriots are two out of three from beyond the arc early on in the first half of this ball game. Silva's got that leg sleeve on, but he's hobbled a little bit. And he gets the steal. He's not hobbling right now, and Silva goes up strong and finishes with a layup. That got head coach Ryan Saunders off the deck awfully quickly as the Patriots start out this game with an 8-0 run. We'll have a timeout on the floor. It'll be a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Aside from a couple of little showboating plays by the Patriots, they've done exactly what they wanted to early on in this ball game. They've moved the ball around, and they've shot over the top of that Valkyrie zone, and they've made them pay with some good looks, one by Rollins and one by Cox, and then a good defensive play by the young Silva, who stole the ball and then took it coast-to-coast. And The young man can dunk, but... I thought it was a very, very good show of restraint with Warlick right on his back to just go up and do the safe two points and get the basket. Back to action here. Mitchell picks up the screen, rolls around it. Cox, good defense to squeeze through it. Couldn't find Pitts on the backdoor cut. Nice move inside and finished by Burgess that time. Good strong drive. Benitez settles things down. Rollins, baseline left side, Shotzi, he knocks down another one. And as I mentioned earlier, Rollins has been lethal from beyond the arc, and he's got his second one of the early afternoon. Burgess drives in once again, and Pierce, with some really good defense that time, just got a little bit too handsy and got him on the arm. Pierce and Burgess look a lot alike. Both freshmen, both similar heights and weights. First substitution for Converse, number 12 is going to be Will Cyril. And we're also going to see number 30, Johan Steve Yegba, checkman for the Patriots. A couple of free throws there by the Valkyrie. Ball almost stolen away. Cox corrals it. They trapped out of that. Benitez for three. This one draws no iron. And the Valkyrie pushed the other way. Nice no-look pass. Gets it over. Could not finish, though, unfortunately, for Mitchell. And Cox now streaks back the other way. Rollins for three. This one won't go down. Hits with the rebound, but stolen away by Benitez. And the Patriots have 17 on the shot clock and reset. High screen by Yegba. Skip in by Cox. Good feed inside. And Silva gets the defender on the ground. Good sportsmanship also shown by Burgess. He helps up Silva. Nice pump fake. That's going to be Earl Burgess's first personal foul. Team's first. And that will also take us to our first media timeout. So the Patriots up by 10. 15-29 to go in the first half of play. Pats up by double digits. We'll be back in just a moment. This is the Patriots Sports Network. Carolinas.
back here at the Smith Center. We'll see if Nick Silva can complete three the old-fashioned way in just a moment. Nick made a really good move underneath, got pump, pump fake Burgess up in the air, and then made a pretty tricky shot as he was falling to the ground. He's a 68% free throw shooter, 45 of 66 on the season. Reset the game at the line for the Patriots, number 34, Nick Silva. So the Patriots pull everybody off of the lanes and let Nick just take the free throw solo and it in and out, no good. We're going to see number 13 in for the Patriots, but, but number three, Jamie Sanders just dropped a three on the Patriots and Turner in the ball game, along with Yegba Cox. Another substitution, very sincere. Silver, three, left side, high arcing shot, Shotzi, he brought rain with that one as he had to get it over, and number four, Jay Mitchell was coming. And the Patriots have had three different people hit three-pointers. Turner trying to shadow Good defense that time by Johan Steve Yegba. Cox goes up and finishes reverse left hand. Patriots now up by 12, their largest lead of the ball game. Turner picks up defense. Sincere knocks it out from behind, but then ran himself out of the play. Good defense by Silva as Will Searle had gotten underneath. But that Patriots defense just collapsed on him, and the ball goes out of bounds. Patriots possession. Almost six minutes gone in the first half here. Patriots up by 12. Cox, wide open three, right side. That one's going to be short. He gets his own rebound, drives in strong, goes up high off the glass and rattles it in. I think myself and Alex were the only two people in the arena that knew it was going to be short. Probably some people behind me because they had the same angle I did. And he tracked in, got his own rebound, and then easy finish for him eye off the glass in between three defenders. And we're going to have a travel as that trapping defense in the short corner by the Patriots causes another turnover. That's going to get Bailey Wiseman off the bench. Number one, he's a 6'3", 205-pound freshman guard from Charleston, South Carolina. Sincere. Yegba. Turner takes the three. He puts it dead into the rim. It squirts out. Sincere knocked the ball away. But Wiseman comes up with it. And we're finally going to get, since he has been flirting with that foul for the last couple of possessions, he finally gets it. So, St. Cyr. We're going to see Jose Benitez and Tion Rollins check in as it looks like we've got Pierce back in. Silva's going to get his first break. So things going well for the Patriots right now, and Coach Edwards feels like he can do a lot of good substituting in there to keep his players fresh. Ball stolen away by St. Cyr. He goes up, and it's an alley-oop flush for Jonah Pierce. And that got the Patriot faithful behind me. Loud and rowdy, and the Patriots are now up by 16 points. Benitez, good defense. Wiseman. And a nice block by Johan Steve Yegba as the Patriots defense was suffocating. The Valkyrie did a pretty good job of trying to find some decent options 
but the defense was just up to the task on everything that happened on that possession for Converse. Benitez now. High screen. Benitez backs up. Rollins crosses over, gets in, puts it high off the glass, and it rattles home. Sanders gets it to the free throw line. Patriots are really playing some aggressive man defense. Pitts backs it up, top of the key. Can't get it to go down, and there's a foul on the floor. I believe that's going to be on Benitez. Foul from the Patriots, number four, Jose Benitez. Jose Benitez picks up his first personal foul. Media timeout. That's going to take us to another media timeout. The Patriots are up by 18. 11.31 to go in the first half of play. We'll be back in just a moment. This is the Patriot Sports Network. Everything is going right for the Patriots right now. A lot of this offense is predicated from this stifling defense they're playing right now. Benitez did get called for the foul underneath. That's the Patriots' third team foul. Only one team foul for the Valkyrie. Warlick drives inside, puts his head down, off the back iron, no good, and the Patriots come away with a defensive glass. Almost a mix-up between Sincere and Benitez, but they corral it. Nigel Jordan checks in, number 23, for the first time today. He works on Warlick. He goes up strong. He gets a little bit undercut, and he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. That's Jordan's game. He comes off the bench ready to play, play aggressively. The tallest lined up for the Patriots out there right now with Jordan and Pierce on the floor. Jordan knocks down the first one. And two pretty free throws for Nija. And the Patriots with a 20-point lead now. Nine minutes gone in the first half. Warlick pump fakes, gets Nigel off the ground, and a good pump fake by 22. Jordan Warlick, and then a nice feed into number 24, Nate Gordon. Rollins committed the foul. It was an easy basket otherwise. Gordon knocks it down. Nate on the season is a 47% free throw shooter. Coach Edwards had a couple of words with Nigel, just talking about keeping that defensive intensity under control, I think. And second free throw missed, but ball gets tapped out of bounds by one of the Valkyrie and Patriots keep possession. Sincere gets it to the free throw line, puts it off the front iron, no good. And Warlick pushes it back for the Valkyrie. Oh, 
Ball knocked away. Multiple people. Sincere goes up strong and with a lovely up and under finish. And I guess there was a little body contact by number two, Eli Pitts. Oh, they're going to say it was on the arm. Pitts and Coach Saunders don't particularly care for it. But a good finish nonetheless by Sincere. And he'll go to the line. See if he can't get three the old-fashioned way. And he does. So Sincere with some good productive defensive and offensive minutes just there. Alex Cox back in the ballgame for the Patriots. Sanders works on Benitez. High screen. Warlick gets it to the right elbow, elevates and scores. The defensive switch didn't come fast enough, and Warlick had a good look from 15 feet, knocked it down. Patriots still with a 20 point lead. Pierce. Takes the three, right side, Shotzi. Jonah Pierce knocks it down. So four different Patriots now have a three-pointer. Under 10 now to go in the first half. Warlick gets the ball knocked away. Jordan has it. He gets it up to Rollins, and Rollins gets it. I'm not sure if he was trying to alley-oop or score. It came off the rim. A little awkwardly, Jordan picked it up and made a tough shot, and he'll go to the line to see if he can't get an old-fashioned three-pointer. Number 12, Will Cyril back in for the Valkyrie. Jordan rattles it out and doesn't go in. But Jordan with four points in this ball game so far. Sanders gets around. He gets to the baseline, goes up strong and fouled. Rollins believed he got all ball. We'll see if they call it on Rollins. They do. That's going to be his second personal foul, the team's fifth with 9.23 to go in the first half. He's having a couple of words with the official just to figure out what he was doing. Substitutions for Converse, number 21, Earl Burgess. For the Patriots, number 34, Earl Burgess back Nick in Silva. for the Valkyries, and we've got number four, Nick Silva, uh, 34, Nick Silva back in for the Patriots. Second free throws up. Hit the front iron, but had enough steam to die in the net. So two points that time for the Valkyrie. Rollins for three. Shotzi, he knocks it down. And you can see the, the exchange of smiles from my vantage point between Rollins and Benitez after that three-pointer. And another slam dunk by Jonah Pierce on a great drive and look. And with a big man like Pierce, it's sometimes difficult to get a good bounce pass to them. And that's what you got from Tion Rollins right there. A beautiful bounce pass right into the breadbasket of the big man who could easily receive the pass and then flush it home. Sanders with a nice move. Oh, we're going to have a technical foul called on number three. I don't think they're going to call the technical. I think they're just giving the warning on Jimmy Sanders the third. That play happened right in front of me, and I think there might have been a point, but the Patriot was emphatic about it going over, going out off of Jimmy, but. You never can tell. Silva takes it to the baseline. Goes up strong. In and out. No good. And Burgess comes away with the board for the Valkyrie. Pitts. Left elbow. He drains it. Pretty looking shot that time by that young man. Tight defense. Almost causes a turnover. Cox 
Good look at a three right side. Just a little short. Three-pointer by Pitts this time, and he buries it. So back-to-back by Pitts. Time out on the floor. A five-point swing there. So with 7.39 left to go in this first half, the Patriots are up big, 39-16. to We'll be back in just a moment. This is the Patriots Sports Network. The Smallphones Club is the fundraising arm of the Francis Marion University Athletic Department, and it supplies assistance to all 14 intercollegiate sports. On behalf of the student athletes at Francis Marion, I would like to thank all those who are members of the Swamp Fox Club for their support. Thank you. 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 Well, the Patriots were threatening to go up by 30, and then a quick five-point outburst by number two, Eli Pitts, for the Valkyries has cut that lead down to 23. But that was enough to get Coach Gary Edwards off his chair and tell the guys to regroup. If he watched any of the women's game, Women got up by 20, and then it turned into a one-possession ball game within a minute to go. So things can get away from you if you don't keep the pedal to the metal. Silva skip past Cox. They get it to Benitez. He lost it on the ground, finally kicks it out. Silva. It was kicked out of bounds, but they're not calling it a kick ball. And Benitez for three. In and out, no good. And Johan Steve Yegba fell down, and he's going to get called for the foul. That's a little bit of a bad luck foul for him. There was no intention to cause any harm or foul, just another one of the Converse University players fell over the top of him and he was on the ground, so... They elected to call the foul. And the Valkyries have an opportunity to cut into this lead a little bit deeper. Three-pointer short. Silva comes away with a rebound. He pushes it up the floor. Handles the ball pretty well for a big man. Inside. Johan Steve Yegba gets it to Benitez. Get pass outside. Sincere for three. In and out, no good. Johan Steve gets the rebound. And we're going to have a jump ball. Hey, that's about five seconds. About five seconds. Five Substitution three. for the Patriots. On, Number 15, Jonah Pierce. So Yegba just couldn't find a way to break through those two defenders. Give Converse credit. So number 22, Jordan Warlick checks back in. And Eli Pitts will get a little bit of a break. Immediately takes a shoe off. Looks like he might have an equipment problem. He's tossing his shoe up. I think it might be a blown tire. Burgess works on Silva, gets in strong, and finishes. By 21, Earl Burgess. Good move and finish by Burgess. Pretty good defense that time by Silva, and also not getting a foul unnecessarily. And what a beautiful look by Benitez as Silva was moving without the ball. Got that backdoor cut and a nice pass and reverse layup finish by Silva. 
Under six to go, first half. Mitchell goes baseline. And then Alex Cox with the block shot. But Johnny on the spot was Earl Burgess the third who picked it up and was able to finish. Benitez on the right elbow, gets it to Silva with a little delay, and he... Silva doing a good job this ball game, moving without the ball, getting into spots where he's open and in a good shooting position. Deep three from Warlick, and he buries it. So that 29-point lead has gone down to 20. Benitez from the free throw line. Can't get it to go down. Warlick gets it to Wiseman for three, and he buries it. I'm sorry, that was Cyril, not Wiseman. So the Patriots have seen this lead almost cut in half. Pierce takes the three. That's no good. Silva couldn't track it down. And Converse University comes back the other way. Another deep three, and Warlick can't get that one to go down. Benitez gets the ball stolen away. And Sincere did a pretty darn good job of defense there. But he gets called for the foul on the arm. Uh, he kept an easy basket from getting flushed on the Patriots. Give it to this Valkyries team down by 29, now only down by 17 with a couple of free throws coming. We'll be back in just a moment. This is the Patriots Sports Network. The world is changing, and Francis Marion University is leading the way as it prepares the young men and women for the future. We've added five new classroom buildings and 13 new academic programs in the past six years, and more are on the way. We're preparing to build a new environmental research center. We're expanding programs in engineering, business, education, healthcare, and the arts and sciences, and we're adding new fields when they're needed. When tomorrow comes, we'll be ready. Best of all, our students will too. Well, the Patriots have uh, fallen a little bit in love with a three-point shot over the last couple of minutes and some really good defense and some nice scoring. My, the Valkyrie have them right back in this ball game, only down by 17. We're going to see number four, Jay Mitchell, at the line. He'll shoot a pair of free throws. He is a 59% free throw shooter. Under four minutes to go in this first half. Mitchell knocks down the first one. Hates lead cut to 16. Second free throw, back iron, Silva with the board. Asante Turner back in for the Patriots, running the point. Rollins drives in, gets it over to Pierce, who goes in strong, and they're going to call a duck shoulder on Jonah Pierce. Number 15, Jonah Pierce, offensive foul. Check it in for Converse, number two, Eli Pitts. Unfortunate. We're going to see Nigel Jordan check back into the ball game at the next dead ball. They're going to call Tion Rollins for a hold. Patriots, number one, Tion Rollins. 
Substitution for the Patriots, number 23, Nigel Jordan. So Rollins with his third personal foul away from the ball. There's double trouble there. He picks up his third and gives up some free throws away from the basket. First free throws up and good by Searle. Patriots up by 15. Searle can shave another one off, and he does. And Jay Mitchell back in. Possibly some offense for defense substitutions that time by Saunders. We've got a foul on the inside. Might be on Burgess. It'll be Burgess. Earl Burgess, his second personal foul. That's only the fifth team foul. Number 24, Nate Gordon. And Burgess is going to go to the bench with his second personal foul. I, I probably think we wouldn't see him for the rest of the half. Cox back in. Turner thought about taking the three. A nice inbounds play. He had the look. Just didn't want to pull the trigger on that one. Jordan, right elbow. He turns, fires, can't get it to go down. That was a good look. He wasn't expecting everybody to back off of him. Three-pointer, front iron, no good. Long rebound. So Matthew Lee came in for Rollins. Got that long rebound for the Patriots. We're going to have an illegal pick by Asante Turner, I believe. Also the Patriots, number 13, Asante Turner. So Asante Turner picks up his first personal foul. Back into the Patriots, number four, Jose Benitez. Player control foul, so no free throws on that one, even though now it's the double bonus for the Valkyries. They will shoot two free throws on every foul. Inside, nice position. And good work that time by Nate Gordon. And Patriots lead now down to 12. And we're going to have a foul. That's going to be on Eli Pitts. He picks up his second personal foul. And we'll see Silva back on the line. He rattles the first one in. Checking in for the Patriots, number one, Tion Rollins. Tion Rollins coming back in with three fouls on a defensive side. He's a, he's a wonderful defensive player, but I don't know about that call by Coach Edwards. And Silva knocks two for two. Checking in for the Patriots, number 30, Johan Steve Yebka. Uh, number 30, Johan Steve Yegba. Patriots are putting some full core pressure on the Valkyrie. They get through it fairly easily. Inside. Mitchell goes inside. And you'll have Steve Yegba picks up his second personal foul. And he knocks down the first one. Second free throw attempt coming up under two minutes now. Back iron, no good. Rollins comes away with a rebound. He gets it to Benitez. Cox. Jordan has it. Takes a couple of bounces. Drives in, goes up softly with the right hand and finishes his six point. 
Good looking. And nice, strong play once again by Nate Gordon has had two really good offensive possessions of the last three for the Valkyrie. Rollins, deep three, right side. Shots he knocks it down. And that's why Coach Edwards gets paid the big bucks, and I'm just over here talking for a living because Rollins has come in. Hasn't fouled, and a big three-pointer. Great defense. There's some really good hustle by Benitez and number three, Sanders. That's going to be a 30-second timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Pretty aggressive fighting for it on the ground there, right in front of us. No foul called, but as soon as Gordon got a little bit of possession, the Valkyrie wisely called timeout to save the possession. 42 seconds left to go in this first half. 10 seconds on the shot clock because there was no change of possession there. Benitez, Yegba, Jordan. And Matthew Lee back in once again. I'm sorry, Rollins is on the bench now. And a great block by Benitez, but they're going to call a foul on the arm. I really thought that was about as clean as it could be. He caught Sanders off guard, came in, coming in from behind the side, and that one rattles out. Looked pretty darn clean from my angle, and I had a good look at it. But Benitez picks up his second personal foul. Patriots up 16 with 38.1 seconds to go. Second free throw is up. That one looks long, and Jordan comes away with it. Seven seconds separate the shot clock and the game clock. Benitez perfectly happy to get it to under 10 on the shot clock now. He gets a little head of steam, works on Sanders, spins, back doors, and goes up strong. And a nice answer back the other way. Benitez. Coach Edwards had some passing remarks for the underbasket official right down there just a moment ago. Would have loved to have heard that exchange. Well, when Benitez did what a wonderful job of, of reversing his field and getting to the basket easily and scoring, but when he hit the deck, it was basically five on four because the Valkyrie were pushing it hard the other direction, and they got a really good look. Again, some good work done by number 24 for the Valkyries, Nate Gordon. He did a great job the last three or four or five minutes on both ends of the floor, offensively and defensively. Let's take a look at our first half statistics quickly, and then we'll take a little break. First of all, Converse University got 36 points. They got those 36 points on 12 of 28 from the floor. That's 43%. They were 4 of 9 from beyond the arc, 44%, almost 45. A pretty good clip there. And then they were 8 of 14 from the free throw line. So they really actually left a whole bunch of points there uh, for the Patriots. They had 9 assists on those 12 field goals. They only had 6 turnovers, 2 steals. 
their leading scorer. They had a couple with seven, Earl Burgess and Nate Gordon. Uh, Nate got most of those points in the last couple of minutes of the first half. Five, they spread it around a great deal. Elijah Pitts has five points. Jimmy Sanders has five points. Two points for Jay Mitchell. Five for Jordan Warlick. Five for Will Cyril. Uh, so they did. Everybody seemed to get in to the scoring column. Let's take a look at the Patriots now. The Patriots had 52 points in the first half. They got those on 20 of 33 from the floor. That's 61%. They were 44% from beyond the arc, 7 of 16, and 5 of 7 from the charity stripe. They had 14 assists on those 20 field goals. They only had six turnovers as well. Pretty clean game that way. And they had five steals, four block shots. Leading the way was Tion Rollins with 14 points. 12 of those came from beyond the arc. 13 points for Nick Silva as well. Seven for Jonah Pierce. A couple of flushes in the first half. Alex Cox had seven. Jose Benito had three, uh, two. Uh, Ferid St. Cyr had three and six points for Nigel Jordan off the bench. Patriots out-rebounded the Valkyrie 20 to 13. Two offensive rebounds for Converse, three for the Patriots. Patriots dominated points in the paint, 24 to 12. They also uh, moved the ball up the floor a great deal, winning the fast break points battle, 13 to 6. However, bench points favored the Converse, Valkyries, 12 to 9. Biggest lead for the Patriots was 28 points. And now it's down to 16. So we've got about 12 minutes till second half action comes along. And we'll be back here in about 10 minutes to set the table for second half action. Patriots up by 16. 52-36 is our score. This is the Patriots Sports Network. Let me paint you a picture. All of the graduates, all of the faculty, all of the administration, all of the Board of Trustees is decked out in their regalia, their black robes, their hats, their gold tassels. It's just a most beautiful picture of a very formal kind of occasion. And here we march into the gymnasium and the music is playing and the gym is packed. And as we come in and as you look up at all those people, you see families, huge families. You see not just mama and daddy and two brothers and a sister, but there's grandmama and granddaddy, there's the aunt and the uncle. They're the cousins, they're the next door neighbors. And you know why all those people are there? Because this is the very first one, the very first graduate. And I can guarantee you that when you go to that graduation, you leave with a tear in your eye because it's so, so special.
the desire and the love to take care of people is something that you kind of have innate. You kind of just have that thing. Um, but Francis Marion gave me the principles and they taught me the core values. They taught me leadership qualities and they've just been foundational and offered a family that I can keep going back to. So even though my personal biological family didn't go to a university um, and I didn't really get any experience, wisdom from them for that, I gained a family that could tell me all about college and even the afterlife of college by coming to Francis Marion. Um, and I'm not sure you would have that with you know, other universities. Throughout the nurse, the nurse practitioner program, you're already a nurse, and you're a devoted nurse, and you don't want to just quit. Um, and that's that was another thing I specifically picked this program was because I was able to look at the curriculum and know that I could work. I even asked a couple of the professors, one being Dr. Hopla, before I started the program, and even she told me, yes, you can still work while you do this. Um, and I did. I worked 40 hours a week, five days a week. Um, sometimes it had to be six, six days a week um, to get my 40 hours in, and I still did the nurse practitioner program. Um, it wasn't easy, but nothing worth having is easy. So, Which, the benefit of having um, classmates and professors that were both working and studying is, you know, we would get worked up and worried about how would we ever do this, um, and then they would say, well, you know, I can work these two 12-hour shifts on the weekends and then have the week to study, or a professor may say, well, you can get creative with your hours here. So you can tell that they've done this, you know, that you can tell that they've gotten creative with their time as well. Um, and then all of a sudden it doesn't feel like such a daunting task because again, you gain wisdom from their experience. Choosing a college isn't easy. There are lots of choices to make and so many variables to consider. How do you know when you've found just the right place? The right college will make you feel at home. And that begins with a sense of place. At Francis Marion University, we have a beautiful campus that's safe, well-maintained, and filled with smiling faces. It's the kind of place where you feel you belong, where you wake up in the morning and know that the day ahead will be one you'll savor and enjoy. Now, that doesn't mean life at FMU is easy. There will be challenges. Hard work is expected. We take our academics seriously. You should too. Earning one of our degrees is a real achievement. But some toil, some time invested in a difficult task, that's okay. That's how you grow, how you become someone. FMU is a comprehensive public university. And when it comes to academics, our students have a wide range of choices. We offer more than 75 majors and courses of study. Our professional schools in healthcare, engineering, business, and education are all well-known and respected across the state. At the same time, the arts and the sciences remain the core of what we do. They are the perfect foundation for a successful career and a meaningful life. Programs are important and we'll continue to work to produce new curriculum that meets the needs of our changing world. But we also know that a great education is less about what is taught and more about who is doing the teaching. FMU's faculty is made up of distinguished scholars and renowned researchers. They're experts in their field and expert teachers too. They love the give and take of the classroom and revel in the progress their students make. In FMU's intimate academic environment, where small classes are the norm, you'll get to know a lot of these dedicated men and women. Some you will remember forever. The academic work and its rewards are why you are here. But there will be a time and place for play, too. We have more than 60 different student organizations, 
and field teams in 14 NCAA sports. A robust schedule of extracurriculars is a big part of each semester. You'll find space here for rest and relaxation. You'll make new friends and build relationships that last a lifetime. And then, almost as quickly as it all began, it will be over. You will graduate and move on to a life and career full of promise. You'll leave memories behind. You'll leave FMU. But you'll be welcome back anytime. Home is like that, you know. Welcome home. Welcome to FMU. Here we are back at the Smith Center, about to start second half basketball action here with the Patriots. A 16-point lead. They have led wire to wire so far. They got a three-pointer to kick things off by Alex Cox and have not looked back. They have had a 28-point lead at one point, and then the Valkyries came storming right back and actually got it to single digits before the Patriots pushed it back out to 16 points. So the Patriots understand that they've got a tough 20 minutes of basketball left to play in this one. The Valkyries have taken their place on the floor. And the Patriots are going to inbound the ball. It's their possession. Pierce is going to inbound the ball right in front of the media table. And here we go. On the floor for the Patriots, the starting lineup. Benitez, Rollins setting the high screen. Cox in the left corner. Underneath Jonah Pierce and Silva. Rollins. That was called an offensive foul on Rollins. That's his fourth. And that is one of the most amazing calls I've ever seen. He was getting mugged by one of the Valkyries. And how that turned into an offensive foul, I have no idea. So, Coach Edwards has been warned. So, 
So that's a huge, huge foul against the Patriots. Rollins is going to be on the bench for quite some time, I would imagine. Sincere takes his place. High screen by Pierce. Benitez gets it inside. Pierce could not quite get it. He was so deep underneath. And Alex Cox is going to be called for the foul against Jay Mitchell. Mitchell spent a great deal of line in the first half. 59% free throw shooter, and he rattles the first one home. So there's been a couple of warnings in this game. One on a player, one on a coach now. I would not be surprised to see somebody getting teed up here in the second half. Second free throw pops out. Patriots come away with it. Silva on the elbow. Goes over the top. Pierce has it. Goes up strong and finishes. Nice look. Nice grab and finish by Jonah Pierce. And... Just good stick to itiveness by Earl Burgess. Patriots had a good defensive set down there. Just ball kept on going right back to Burgess. And he finally finished. Sincere trying to get it inside. Jonah Pierce has it. He spins. Ducks his head in and can't get it to go down. And we're going to have a foul. This was going to be on... Eli Pitts picks up his third personal foul. They're going to say he gave a forearm trying to get that defensive rebound. Benitez resets the offense. Silva takes the three right side. Shotzi, he buries it. So Silva pushes the Patriot lead back up to 18 points. Inside, Burgess. The ball stolen away, and two Patriots went for the fast break instead of corralling the ball, and now Pitts gets fouled on the inside. So a little miscommunication between Sincere and Benitez. And that'll be... The first personal foul on Nick Silva. Patriots have committed three so far. First free throws up. Front iron, no good. Elijah is a 76% free throw shooter on the season. Can't get the first one to go down. Two and a half minutes gone in the second half, and that one rattles in and out. I thought that one was going in, and it just back ironed out. Pierce goes in strong, and some pretty good contact made, and that'll be Burgess's third personal foul. We're going to see Nate Gordon in for the Valkyries. He finished off the half tremendously for Converse. Had six points in the last couple of minutes for Converse. Silva, pump fakes, gets it to the elbow, kicks it back outside. Good defense by the Valkyries. Benitez with a little side step, eight footer, knocks it down right outside the lane. Patriots back up by 20. Warlick. Hit a deep three in the first half from straight away. Inside, Gordon works on Silva. Goes up with a left hand, and he starts the second half off the bench just like he did 
ending the first half. Sincere wide open for three, can't get it to go down, but Silva comes away with a rebound. He goes up strong and finishes. So Silva with a big offensive board and put back. Good ball movement, wide open to Mitchell. He can't get the three to go. Silva comes away with it. He kicks it up to Sincere. Sincere could not get the layup to go down. And a nice teardrop back iron, no good. Sincere comes away with it after the tap out from Silva. Benitez slows it down. The Valkyrie played a lot of zone in the first half. Playing man-to-man -man now. Mitchell gets it around to Warlick. Warlick gets ahead of steam. Gets it back out to Burgess. And picked his pocket was sincere. Alex Cox with the finish. A beautiful two-on-three break that time, engineered by Sincere. They shaded just a little bit over to Benitez, and so he threaded the needle into Cox, who finished nicely. Mitchell gets it to Burgess. The ball is hung up a little bit, but Burgess, with some strength inside, gets it up and in. Coach Saunders wanted a timeout, so we're going to have one, and that will take it to our first media timeout. Five minutes almost gone in this second half of play. Patriots up by 20, 63-43 is our score. We'll be back in just a moment. This is the Patriots Sports Network. Carolinas. In the last five minutes, the Patriots have extended that 16-point lead to 20 points with Tion Rollins on the bench picking up a quick foul early in the second half to give him four. Sincere gets it to the lane, goes up with the right hand, and it's knocked out of bounds. He lost control of it with that right hand. It didn't have a good shot of going in, even if he had put it up on the glass and was bailed out with a blocked shot. <clears throat> we have a... Timeout on the floor, media timeout. We have another media timeout. So once again, after a total of 13 seconds of game time. We will pause just one moment. This is the Patriot Sports Network.
Patriots have possession and a 20 point lead. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Benitez will inbound the ball underneath his own basket. They're going to call a foul on Jonah Pierce. Holding on the inside. And that's Jonah's third personal foul. So fouls racking up on both sides now. Jordan, he backs off the defenders, then takes the wide open three. Can't get it to go down. And Mitchell gets in there. And the Patriots cannot corral the defensive glass. So Pierce, with his three personal fouls, will go to the bench, and we've got Johan Steve Yegba back in the ball game. Good physical ball player. And Searle loses the ball out of bounds. It will be a turnover to the Patriots. Cox, top of the key now, looks inside. Silva now gets the screen. He gets ahead of steam, goes in, kicks it out. Sincere for three, left side, can't get it to go. And Johan and Steve Yegba were looking for a little bit of an impediment. The official was doing the limbo over there on the Valkyrie bench. Patriots couldn't quite get that steal. Had the ball bouncing all over the place. Mitchell for three, right side, and he buries it. So a big three-pointer that time by Converse. Benitez sets up the offense. Mitchell with the body foul on Silva. That's going to be the first foul on Mitchell. Third team foul on Converse this half. Silva gets a Benita on the shoulder. He takes the free throw. Doesn't get it to go down. And the ball goes back the other direction. Silva has it. He kicks it out to Cox. Cox drives in, goes up with a teardrop, and it goes down for the Patriots. Lead back to 19. Cox matches his jersey number with number of points he's got this evening, 11. Silva having a big game, 18 points. Three-pointer, no good. Yegba gets the board. Yegba goes in strong, goes up and under. That play was called for him to simply isolate. And once he got that left shoulder around the defender, it was all over but the crying at that distance. Benitez kicks the ball. We've got some substitutions coming in. We're going to see some starters back in. Number two, Eli Pitts, and number 21, Earl Burgess in for the Valkyries. We're going to see Matthew Lee and Nigel Jordan back in, number 12 and number 23 for the Patriots. Only starter on the floor for the Patriots right now is Alex Cox. Sanders for three, and he drops one down.
Yegba. Fake to mid-range. The ball was not expected by Jordan. A little bit close quarters. Jordan quick to get back to D up. Burgess. Ball's knocked around. Converse keeps it, though. Back inside, Pitts. Mitchell for three once again. Back iron no good. And we're going to have it over the back on Yegba, I believe, or Lee. Matthew Lee. So uh, that's going to take us to another media timeout with 11.24 to go in this ball game. Patriots up by 18. We'll be back in just a moment. This is the Patriots Sports Network. The Small Falls Club is the fundraising arm of the Francis Marion University Athletic Department, and it supplies assistance to all 14 intercollegiate sports. On behalf of the student athletes at Francis Marion, I would like to thank all those who are members of the Swamp Fox Club for their support. Thank you. 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 Back here at the Smith Center, both teams have simply just been kind of banging on one another for the last nine minutes or so, eight minutes and 36 seconds in the second half. Not really anybody making any kind of run right now. It's just both teams are pushing on one another. We'll see if this last, last 11 minutes puts a run somewhere in there to either bring the Valkyrie well back into it or dramatically extend that Patriot 18-point lead. Pitts gets the wide open three, look off the inbounds pass, and he nails it. And so the Patriots lead cut down to 15. Yegba looks inside. He finally gets it into Lee, back to Yegba who gets the head of steam up, goes up strong. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Looks like it's going to be on number 21, Burgess. And Burgess will pick up his fourth foul. So a couple of major players in this one have four fouls now. Deion Rollins for the Patriots and number 21, Burgess for Converse. Yegba can't get the first one to go down. We're going to see Nate Gordon back into the ball game as Burgess will come and have a seat for a few minutes here. I'll be wondering when Coach Saunders and Coach Edwards will pull the trigger on their four foul starters. Sanders crosses over, gets inside, and there's going to be a reach in on Jordan. Foul for the Patriots, number 23, Nigel Jordan. That is the sixth team foul on the Patriots, so not quite halfway done, and Converse will be shooting free throws the rest of the way. A five-second close call there. A little bit of a foot drag there by Wiseman, but I guess they say he didn't have possession. Nice look by Pitt. He can't get it to go down. And Mitchell kept it alive, but the Patriots finally come away with some defensive glass. So we're going to see a foul on number two. That's going to be Pitts, and that will be his fourth personal foul. So that gets Warlick back up off the bench. He'll come in, so Jordan will take Eli's place. A two hits the bench, and a two-two hits the floor. Jordan goes in strong, softly with the right hand, back iron, no good, and Gordon comes away with the rebound. Right 
Wiseman with a teardrop and an ill-advised foul by Michael Lee. Fouls of the Patriots, number 12, Matthew Lee. That's his second personal foul. That's the team's seventh, but he was shooting free throws anyway. So Bailey Wiseman will go to the line. This is his first free throw of the season. He can't knock it down. Substitution for Converse. Number 12, Will Cyril. We're going to see number 12 check in. Sanders will get a little bit of a breather over there. Nick Silva. Nick Silva and Jose Benitez check back in for the Patriots. Wiseman, he knocks down the second one. So Patriots lead down to 14. High screen by Silva. Sincere gets it in the paint and softly puts it up on the rim. And that was a big basket for the Patriots. A couple of possessions empty. Lead back up to 16. That was the halftime lead. Zero. The ball dies on the back iron and squirts out to Silva. Sincere. Gets it to Cox, who lost the ball as he was streaking it through. And Sincere just picked his pocket. Farid goes in. And I, I, they're going to call a charge on Sincere. That was greeted by a couple of expletives from the Patriot faithful behind me. Wiseman almost turned the ball over, and then Mitchell does. Substitution for Converse, number three, Jimmy Sanders. So Sanders back in, and Wiseman will come out. We're going to see Jonah Pierce back in. Pierce nursing some foul trouble as well. Patriots have been having... A little bit of difficulty controlling the defensive glass consistently. Pierce should help that out. Cox looking for the high screen. Goes down the right side and goes up strong. Good defense by Mitchell. But the ball goes out of bounds off of one of the Valkyrie. And with 10 seconds to go on the shot clock, the Patriots will still have possession and a 16-point lead. They go way over the top. Nick has it. Jonah Pierce gets underneath Gordon and scores easily, reversing from underneath the basket. Patriots up. Now by 18. Sanders kicks it back out. Mitchell thought about a three, drives inside. Gordon doing some good work, a little too strong with that left hand. Impressed with his game today. He's doing a lot of hard work. And Jonah Pierce is going to get called with his fourth personal foul. And that's going to take us to... Immediate timeout with 7.42 to go in the ball game. A little bit of foul trouble for some starters on both squads. Four fouls apiece. Converse will have the ball when we come back in just a moment. This is the Patriot Sports Network. The world is changing, and Francis Marion University is leading the way as it prepares the young men and women for the future. We've added five new classroom buildings and 13 new academic programs in the past six years, and more are on the way. We're preparing to build a new environmental research center. We're expanding programs in engineering, business, education, healthcare, and the arts and sciences. And we're adding new fields when they're needed. 
When tomorrow comes, we'll be ready. Best of all, our students will too. Back here at the Smith Center, Patriots with an 18-point lead. Converse has the ball. It's been a high-pressure official game. A lot of tensions on both the white and the purple sidelines, benches, and actually with the stripes. Sanders, they get it over. Three-pointer no good. Cox tries to keep it alive, and Silva could not corral that rebound. And just as I said that we've had trouble with the defensive glass, the minute Pierce picked up that fourth foul and had to go to the bench, another second-chance opportunity for the Valkyrie. Sanders gets an open three, and he buries it. So back down to 15 points. They've run that exact same three-point play, three-pointer shot inbounds twice and been successful twice on it, getting good looks and finishing. Benitez picks up the high screen, goes up, tried to kick it back out. They get it up to Sanders. He's in front of the group and finishes. Did a great job of using his body to... Shield off all the defenders. And then Nick just couldn't dial a beat on the ball. Silva from the free throw line. Back iron, no good. And Mitchell comes away with the rebound. Warlick drives into Silva really hard. Silva is down on the deck. I think he's catching his breath a little bit here. So Silva is shaking it off right now. So Rollins with his four fouls and 628 to go in the ball game checks back in. Eli Pitt back in with his four fouls. Patriots doing a pretty good job of finding some scoring with Rollins on the bench, but it's always nice to have somebody like Tion, who you know if you need a basket, he's the guy who will not turn down the ball. Cox. He gets it over to Silva. And Silva goes up strong. Can't get it to go. Jordan with the rebound. He's short on the offensive rebound. And Searle, ball rolls around. Can't get the shooter's touch. And the Patriots come away with the rebound there. Jordan, he looks in, gets it to Silva. Silva loses it, but gets it back. Sincere, eight seconds on the shot clock. He crosses over, gets it to the left elbow, and comes up short. Jordan can't save it. And Converse can actually cut the lead to 10 with a three-pointer here. Matthew Lee comes in, and this is where Tion Rollins is going to get a bunch of offense for defense substitutions with that fourth personal foul. Pitt. Back to Sanders. Deep three. Rattles around. No good. And Jordan with the 
Strong rebound. And Coach Edwards wants a timeout. We've got just a tick over five minutes left in this ball game. Patriots up by 13. They have the ball when we come back in just a moment. This is the Patriots. Nick Silva is standing up over there on the bench, so he must not be going in. A little banged up after he drew that charge. He was gimped a little bit in the first half and seemed to recover. He's had a really good ball game with 18 points. But that aggressive charge he took seemed to re-aggravate something. Rollins back in the ball game on offense. He's going up against Mitchell. 13 on the shot clock. Cox back to Rollins. He gets some space. And not a good look at the three-pointer that time by Tion. Pitt kicks it outside. Mitchell thought about a three, but he pulls it back down. Pitt from the free throw line. In and out. Oh, I'm sorry. It went down. Hit every part of the rim on that one. Eli is a good shooter. Patriots up by 11. Jordan set for the three, but he does want to take it. Rollins goes in, kicks it out. Cox. Open for three. Shotzi. Alex Cox knocks down the three-pointer. Patriots up by 14. Big shot by Cox on that one. And Alex, that senior leadership and calm, comes to the forefront in times just like this. Sanders crosses over, gets inside, kicks it back outside. Eight on the shot clock. Sanders set back. Deep three. And he buries it. Sanders with a huge shot for the Valkyries. Sincere. Top of the key. Works on Searle. Jordan goes in deep. And the ball is knocked out of bounds. It will stay with the Patriots. Just under three minutes to go in the ball game. Patriots up by 11. Over the top to Cox. 14 on the shot clock. Rollins comes away with the rebound. Some frenetic action underneath the basketball. Uh, underneath the basket. Rollins goes in. He gets called for the travel. We've got Jonah Pierce with two and a half minutes now to go. He's coming back into the ball game, nursing those four fouls. Ball stolen away. It goes up to Sincere. And he finishes. Five, 
Big steal and fast break. Patriots have done a good job defensively today. Sometimes the glass has been a little bit of a problem, but the defense has not been. And a big three by Searle. Cyril picks up his eighth point of the game. It's a 10-point lead. Rollins goes in, and he gets pushed out by Mitchell. So Rollins will go to the line to shoot a pair. Tion is a 76% free throw shooter this season. It's the line for the Patriots. Number one, Tion Rollins. It's going to be critical down the stretch for both teams. And he swishes the first one. Second free throws up and rattles around. No good. So still only an 11-point lead for the Patriots. Sanders has it. Pitt switches off. Almost lost the ball. Sincere. And then Jordan got beat by Burgess. And so an easy basket for Burgess. Cutting the lead to nine. He can get it to eight here. With a free throw. Silva back in for the Patriots. Burgess, a good free throw shooter, 78%. He'll have an opportunity here to get three the old-fashioned way. He puts it up, and he buries it. Patriots up by eight. Full court pressure applied now by the Valkyries. Rollins gets through it, but Eli falls, and Silva wisely pulls it back out, even though when the two Converse defenders fell down, and Burgess, I believe, is going to foul out on that particular play. And Burgess, who's had a very eventful and good ball game, 14 points, he'll leave. Uh, there's not a lot of drop-off that I've seen today when number 24 comes in. Nate Gordon, he's got nine points of his own, but he works very hard. And Silva knocks down the first one. Patriots back up by nine. And Silva with two big free throws gives the Patriots back a 10-point lead. Closing in on one minute to go in the ball game. Warlick for three, right baseline. No good. Mitchell goes over the top of Sincere, and Farid is going to get called for the foul. And so Farid picks up his fourth foul. And we'll see Mitchell go, and he can get three the old-fashioned way. Mitchell, a 59% free throw shooter. He puts a front iron no good, and Cox comes away with a rebound. And Sanders is going to foul Cox with 53.4 seconds to go. Alex Cox, one of the better free throw shooters in conference Carolinas. We're going to see Cyril check back in for Converse. At the line for the Patriots, number 11, Alex Cox. He's got one and one, so this is a big first free throw for Alex here with under a minute to go in the ball game, only up by eight. First free throws up. He buries it. 81% coming into play right there. And there's that calm senior leadership as well. He can put the Patriots back up by 10. And he does. So Alex with 16 points on the night. Two big free throws there. Sanders. 
Picks up the high screen, backs up another deep one, and Gordon couldn't receive the pass. I'm not sure he was looking for that, and Sincere stole it away for the Patriots. He gets it to Alex Cox. We have a timeout called by Coach Edwards with 34 seconds to go. It'll be a 30-second timeout. So, well, we've got a moment here. Let's talk a little bit about future basketball. The men's and women's basketball teams will host Barton College on Wednesday with the women's game tipping off at 5.30 p.m., followed by the men's game at 7.30 p.m. Also, the unbeaten FMU baseball team will play host to USC Aiken on Tuesday at 4 p.m. on Cormel Field at Sparrow Stadium in the Griffin Athletic Complex, and that is the day before basketball. So come on out here two days in a row, 4 o'clock for baseball on Tuesday, and then 5.30 starting women's basketball action on Wednesday, parlaying into a 7.30 or so tip-off for the men. Patriots up by 10, 32.6 seconds to go here. And Deion Rollins, who caught his fourth personal foul 30 seconds into the second half and spent much of the second half on the bench, has just knocked down his 16th point. Silva. Leading score for the Patriots with 20. Sander picks it up. Patriots up by 12. Sander gets in. And Gordon once again cannot handle the pass by Sanders. That's two in a row. And that's going to be it as Benitez. Players are starting to congratulate each other. And this game is over with the Patriots a 12-point victory. 83-71 to 71 is our score. So what a big, big victory for the Patriots right there. They made it exciting, and both these Converse teams, the men and the women, got down big early but really roared back and made it a game. So the Patriots are now going to be 8-11 and 11 in Conference Carolinas and 10-11 and 11 overall. So a big win that time for the Patriots. Unfortunately, Converse is going to fall to 4-14 four and 14 in the conference and 5-17 and 17 overall. We're going to be talking just a little bit about how we got there in a moment. We're waiting on the statistics to come on over. While we're doing that, I'll do a couple of announcements. The FMU... Uh, the unbeaten Francis Marion University baseball team will play host to USC Aiken on Tuesday at 4 p.m. at on Cormel Field at Sparrow Stadium in the Griffin Athletic Park. The Francis Marion men's and women's basketball teams will host Barton College the next day on Wednesday with the women's game tipping off at 5.30 p.m. followed by the men's game at 7.30 p.m. All righty, we've got the stat sheet in front of us now. Let's see how we got to our final score of 83 to 71. Converse University, the Valkyries got their 71 points on 25 of 57, or 44% from the floor. They were 10 of 25, a pretty darn good shooting percentage from beyond the arc, 40%, and they left a lot of free throws uh, at the stripe there. They were only 11 of 22, 50% from the free throw line. They did have 19 assists on those 25 field goals. They had 25 turnovers, four steals, and two block shots. Leading the way scoring-wise was Jimmy Sanders the third with 16 points, 14 points for Earl Burgess the third, and Elijah Pitts had 10. Nine points for Nate Gordon, eight points for Will uh, Cyril, eight points for Jay Mitchell, five for Jordan Warlick, and that rounds out the scoring for the Converse University Valkyries. They did do a much better job rebounding in the second half, closing that rebounding gap from 30 to 37 to 32 Patriots with only a five rebound margin. Let's take a look at our Patriots stats. We got 83 points on 
31 of 61 from the floor. That's 51%. 9 of 21 from beyond the arc, 43%. And 12 of 17 from the free throw line. And a lot of those were big free throws right there at the end to salt this game away. That was 71%. Leading all scores in the game with 20 points was Nick Silva. 17 points for Tion Rollins. 16 points for Alex Cox. 11 for Jonah Pierce. Jonah Pierce missed a lot of action with four fouls there toward the end of the game as well. Four points for Jose Benitez. Two points for Johan Steve Yegba. Seven for Farid St. Cyr. And six points for Nigel Jordan. Again, the Patriots with a big victory trying to slowly move their way up. They've broken a tie and might have gotten into a tie with King, Barton, and Shawan. So we'll see what happens this weekend with those teams. But the Patriots might find themselves in something like the sixth or seventh position after this evening if things can fall their way. So once again, two great victories for the Patriots this afternoon against Converse University. We'll be back in action here at 5.30 on Wednesday night here in the Smith Center. Uh, watch if you can, but definitely come on out if the, if the mood strikes you. We've got a great facility out here. So, for the rest of the production team, I'm Hubert Setzler. You guys have a wonderful evening. Good night. This is the Patriot Sports Network. <laughs>